What's going on guys? It's Flippin' Natalie and if you're new to the channel, I've been flipping furniture for about three months now and I've been on YouTube for two. So thank you guys so much for all the love and the support. Just last month, we've only had like 100 subscribers and I was mind blown about that. And now we almost have 600 subscribers. So I'm just like, thank you guys so much for all the support. Um, I love this community. But and in this video, you guys should expect me to make some sales. Uh, and I always fix up some furniture while I'm waiting for those cells to go through so hopefully you guys enjoy that video and uh, Stay flippy. I was in the middle of a painting session someone just messaged me about the little entertainment center and uh, they, I had it listed for 150 they said um, Can we do a hundred bucks and I said 110 just so it could be a hundred dollar profit with my materials included so they're coming now to come get it so uh uh, Nathaniel's not available to help me to like push it out the door, so um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. This is it, right? Yeah. Oh, I like it. Yeah. It's gonna be perfect because we were looking for something with certain measurements, and when yeah. we put it on, I'm like, is this is pretty good? Can we? Can we open yeah, go it? for it. Okay. Is it heavy? <laughs> oh no, it's not too bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Cool. So then we can, uh, I can move the truck this way to make it easier yeah. to carry. Before. Can I put you it in the driveway? Yeah. Okay. You want me to help you take it to the driveway? Mm -hmm. That's good. We can, we can manage. I just want to make sure that it's dirty. It's pretty, you know, yeah. ready to go. Okay. So, uh, so this, you take a hundred, you say, or? You take a hundred? A hundred? Well, I put I put some money into it. That's why I was trying to get my money back. <laughs> right here, here. We'll take it. Oh, fine. One hundred and twenty. I'm not going to be in the year. Where's the other one? No, you said a hundred. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. that. No problem. You guys selling everything? Oh, look at yeah. that. That's a match right there. That would yeah. be nice. That, that's the same exact color. Same. It's nice. Cool. Thank you. I, I repaint furniture, so that's why I like. Oh, you do? Okay, so yeah. you, you buy and sell kind of Yeah, yeah, yeah. I restore it, so I basically buy it like really ugly, like where no one really wants it. Sorry about that. So, all right then. Well, oh, I gotta yeah. move the truck. Or well, you wanna take it outside first? Yeah, we'll take, take, outside. take it outside. Yeah, I'll hold the door. Okay, cool. Your dog doesn't run? No, so no, no, no. Cool. All right, you guys back from here? Yeah, we All right. Sounds good. Thank you guys so much. Bye bye. Maybe I should have checked. It's real. So quick and easy flip, guys. It wasn't that difficult to paint it. I used the same hardware. You know, I sanded it, put some stain on it, uh, made it look nice. That was trash into treasure. It was completely free. If you guys seen, I bought someone's entire living room video. You will see this chair in there. It has a minor stain on it. Since I'm out here, I might as well clean this chair as well. Um, my brother Tyler got it for me. Uh, he said he went down in the valley and got it. Shout out to you, Tyler, once again. He's the one that got me this chair and now this chair. So it looks like one of the reasons why this person threw it out is because all of them, it looks like, are cracking. I've seen people on YouTube do this with like a syringe. I don't have a syringe. of what to price my items at so first things first let's go on Amazon and you see this little camera button I'm gonna click that and it says upload photo and then right now I'm trying to list these chairs so go ahead and click that and then it's searching for items that are like that and then as you can see here there's some chairs that go from it depends on the brand obviously see 400 600 500 See this one's more like it. This one is two hundred dollars. So that means that it's for brand new condition it's two hundred dollars. So if it's used, um I'm gonna try to get somewhere around two hundred dollars for the both of them. Now I kinda already know my market and two hundred dollars is a little much for these type of chairs. Let's go two hundred and we can always bring down the price. Living room chairs. 
it's in good condition a couple episodes ago i sold this dresser and nightstand to one of my friends but long story short the sale fell through and i was holding it for about a month and i completely blame myself i'm not going to go ahead and explain the whole situation but um, I was holding it for a month and I just relisted it. Well, in a, my original listing, I had it for $375 with delivery. And I reposted it a month later saying that I wanted $450 with a extra delivery fee of $30. So finally, someone went ahead and messaged me. And now we're here and they want it. And they sent me their address and everything. We set a time and we're going to go later today to drop it off and make a whole total profit of... Well, like 105 minus gas. So whatever profit that is because I counted the money up in the last video. And um, even though I didn't get paid for it yet, it was my friend. So I thought, you know, that I was like, I didn't have to worry about it. Now we're going to go ahead and finally get the money from it. So ah, let's do it. We're going to go deliver this dresser now. We got the little nightstand in the truck. And then we got the big one back here, all strapped in, ready to go. Hello. Hello. We can play with Zoe. Yeah, you can play with Zoe. What's your name? It's Natalie. N A T A L Y. Just to confirm, that's you. Yeah. Okay. That's okay. Right. I have a dolly. And how much is it? It's gonna be four. Well, four. Okay. Um. Seems good. Yep. Perfect. Good. I think you should get it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. I'll check. Perfect. I got it. Thank you, guys. I, I didn't make it, but I painted it. Oh, yeah. nice. It was like a, a cherry color. And then, um, so what I did was I sanded the top. I put new pools on it. And, um, yeah. Nice job. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, he, lo he loved it. And I was like, okay, like, it looks good. Let me, like, let me see it in person. Like, uh, Man, that's nice. I wish I had one of those. That's not coming up. Okay. There you go. Perfect. Now, I can't start to breathe with these things. <laughs> so, yeah. I, yeah, I love the, the wood top and the, the colors. The handle is what gets it for me. <laughs> yeah. It, like, complements the color of both the wood and the blue. So, yeah, if you guys want to get a TV stand, just let me know and I can do it for you guys. Yeah, we're still looking for some. Yeah. We, have, we haven't found the one yet. Yeah, uh, okay. Right here. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> we just dropped off the dresser in the nightstand and uh, see you guys on the next flip. Hola, Natalie. Natalie over there on fire with her business, her side business, her hustle. Come on. Uh, flipping furniture over there. I've been hearing. You got my kids all stirred up. My kids ask, asking me, hey, Dad, uh, I want to flip some, some furniture too. <laughs> Come on. Like, do it. That's a great business. Now, you guys didn't see this one, but I talked about it. I got these pair of nightstands and a dresser for $60. These are solid wood. I mean, these things are so heavy. Uh, it, it was incredibly hard to take it out uh, to the car. Oh, look, a little army guy. That's cool. This is how you know. These are just very well made. The guy said... Um, these were expensive stuff from the 70s. He didn't say the exact word. God bless their little hearts. We took it out, all the dressers out, to make it lighter. And look, they numbered them. So I'm going to go ahead and throw them all in the right drawers now. I think I'm going to paint this in olive green and then keep the tops. But by the looks of it, the veneer got chipped here. So uh, I don't know how I'm going to repair that. I'd probably Someone recommend in the comments Bondo, so I'll probably do that. Now that we got that situated, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some citrus strip on there. Someone recommended that I use some plastic wrap to throw on top of it so it doesn't dry out so quickly. But um, honestly, I don't have plastic wrap in my house. I try my best to not use plastic. So citrus strip alone it is. As you can see, I put glue inside of them. Um, they're not perfect, but I'm gonna go ahead and spray paint them. This chair isn't worth my time, so I'm just going to go ahead and spray paint them. I did the best I could.
We're gonna go ahead and let these sunbathe while I go ahead and strip the top of this and the two lower nightstands. I'm gonna let these sunbathe now and let's go answer some common questions. You know, just let have a little mini Q&A. It's a pretzel with peanut butter in it. Let's answer some questions I've been getting on my YouTube channel. Thought it'd just be a fun little Q&A. If you guys want me to do this again, just leave a comment down below. But first question comes from Michelle and she says, I've been thinking hard of getting into the flip industry. Not sure if I'd be YouTube material though. How did you get started with YouTube and how long have you been on have you been on YouTube? Okay. So if you're talking about this channel, I've been on this channel, uh, Flip and Natalie, for about, I think, two months now. But I've had another channel called Natalie Paints, and uh, that one's been going slow growth. But, you know, I just love making videos, and I've always made videos ever since I think maybe high school I started getting into. I've always been into, like, photography and just art in general. I just really gravitate towards that. But uh, on this channel, two months. And Michelle, if you've been thinking about getting into the flip industry, just try one thing and see if it's your thing. It's not some people's thing, but when I seen it on YouTube, I I was like, man, that sounds like fun. It's something that I can do at home. Great work. Maybe keep dressers black or just white. May sell quicker, question mark. Not the blue. From New York City. Welcome from New York City. Um, I love watching Flea Market Flip. That's like one of my favorite things to watch before going to bed. It's just like a, an indulgement for me. About the black and white, I'm over the black and white. There's a couple reasons why I've been painting everything like blue. Is like one, that I got it on sale and I just, I'm using what I got. When I flipped the first item that I painted blue, it sold so quick. So I don't think it's the color. Um, I think for me it's like the price because I always start so high and then I just bring it lower and lower because I try to get the most profit um, some people just sell it you know they try to sell it at a reasonable price but for me I try to like because I put so much work into them and I think um, I try to add value to it oh this is a question I get a lot Bree says how old are you I started watching you and thought you were a teenager until you mentioned your husband yeah so it's it's weird like either people think I'm like 16 17 18 or they think I'm like 27 so it's like you no know, in between comment down below of what age you think I am and then uh, I'll wait until you do that just go ahead and take a guess the answer is that I am 22 years old and uh, this year I'll be 23 I think I got engaged when I was 20 and then I got married when I was 21 because we almost been married for two years now so anyway Great job. What mask are you wearing for painting? Let me go ahead and get it. This one. I'll link it down below. Ethan says, love your accent. What part of the states are you from? Watching from the UK. Woo woo. Ah, that's so funny, my accent. Um, you know, I got that a couple times even living where I am now. They ask me where I'm from. Well, my mom and my dad are from Guadalajara, but I was born and raised in Cali, so... I, I consider myself like a full-blown American. Janice says, how do you get paid if you deliver it and they don't want your piece? Do you click a non-refundable deposit before going? Great video, thank you so much. Janice, a loyal commenter. Uh, I always see her comments. Thanks Janice for all the support. Um, but I, I answered her question in the comments, but I thought it would be good advice just to go ahead and throw it in this video as well. That's never happened to me before. But if that did happen, I'd probably just make them pay, like, my delivery fee. Because I think that would be, like, fair, you know. Like, I already, I'm here, you know. It's like, so my delivery fee ranges uh, to, like, 20 to, like, 30 bucks in, like, my local area. I never adventured out into, like, hours away because um, I just charge a bunch of money. Like, my dad always says if you don't want to do a job, just charge a bunch of money. <laughs> Basically, to answer your question, Janice, is that I sometimes get a non-refundable deposit but the thing is is that you're doing everything online and some people think you're gonna scam them so I don't even bother asking sometimes like it depends on the situation like if they're gonna want you to hold it for them and be like I can't pick it up until this day then I'll be like well you have to give me a deposit I'm not gonna hold it for you 
but if you're like you're gonna go deliver that day then i don't see you know i don't find a need to like get a deposit unless they like want to or they insist or maybe i'll ask um it all depends on like the vibe i think i just go on with like my instinct on that situ particular situation and that's it if you guys want to leave more comments down below, I'll answer you guys' questions. But therefore, let's go back to the dressers and see if they're done. I never say what I cleaned the citrus strip with so it's actually paint thinner and then steel wool I just finished the tops now I'm gonna sand it lightly but I'm gonna let it dry first and then I actually am gonna go to the store and buy some paint for this because I think it can be a really high profit margin uh, even afterwards now that these are dry I'm gonna go ahead and put these legs back on and then take some pictures and post it There's these little things that go on the bottom that I took off so it didn't, you know, get spray paint on the top and then get spray paint everywhere on the floor. I was screwing these little things on, they go on the bottom, and like on the corner of my eye, I seen something crawling up. And right when I shut off the camera, I looked down and there's a freaking spider crawling up my jacket. And I just went. I just posted this chair, the white one, a couple hours ago. I've been having a lot of interest. So this is it right here. I cleaned it yesterday. Are you willing to do 30 for it? Can we do 40? You mean the middle? <laughs> well, I had someone message me before you and said they wanted it for 40 and then they gave me, I gave them my address and then uh, they haven't texted me back yet and they said they were gonna take it for 40, so. Um, honestly, I'm just like, I'm like, whoever comes first is gonna get it. So. Yeah, well, if they give you 40, you can give it to them. Yeah. You, you only want to pay for 30? No, I mean, it's that's cute. I have some at home too, but they're not. It's a little different. Oh, okay. It's yeah. too different? Yeah. Okay, for sure. I have two of them. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> You're all looking at this instead. <laughs> <laughs> no, you have another one over there too. It's nice. Yeah, no, I'm redoing those. But Dude, how old are you? You're like a businesswoman. You're like a little girl. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I'm 22. Oh. Almost 23. But I resell furniture. But this one just wasn't worth it for me. We are making our first sale on all that mid-century furniture. Um, I'm selling these two black chairs right here. I got them for $10. Someone's going to come pick them up right now for $50. So it's going to be a $40 profit out of thin air. What do you think, babe? He's over there fixing the dresser. Remember that dresser we got? Oh shoot, where are you? Oh He's my got gosh. A broken leg back here. I'm trying to oh, there you are. Okay. There's Nathan back there. So yeah, you're doing a good job, Nelly. Hey, you gotta buy low and sell high if you wanna make any money flipping furniture. And he's back there fixing uh, a dresser that was broken. The leg was broken. I'll insert a picture here. Got it for what? Ten dollars? We got it for ten bucks. Because the leg was broken. And, and now we you're both fixing. Made a deal. And negotiated. So far, we got a leg back on here. We just gotta make it look a little more better. Sorry, I thought I had it in my pocket. But it's not. You're okay. So these are them. <laughs> for 50 for both, right? Yeah. You're okay with cash? Yeah, that's good. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. you guys have a good one, okay? Thank you. My camera ran out of memory right when he handed over the money, but it is all real, guys. Make sure you guys always check a little tip, pro tip today, is um, check the little sweater and just go like this. And if you feel texture, that's not how you know they're real, besides like going like this and seeing the little stripes. Anyway, pro tip. I used to be a cashier for like three years, so uh, I know my bills. It's been one heck of a time getting rid of this chair. A lady came and she said she would only wanted to pay $30 for it when she came and looked at it. And then another lady said she was going to come in the morning. And then we had another person saying that they wanted to come look at it. We had like 
a lot of people saying they just wanted to come look at it. Um, that's never a good sign. So anyway, we're having a different lady coming and getting it now. She says she's about 12 minutes away. So let's see if she pulls the trigger. If not, I'm sure someone else will buy it. I, she didn't negotiate the lady that's coming now, so I believe she's paying $50 for it, which covers the Lowe's expense I had yesterday. I, I went a little ham sandwich. <laughs> Okay. Right when you said you were on your way, the other lady messaged me back. Oh was, no! She was like, "Sorry, I got caught up doing something." Okay. Oh, I got it. Yeah. Okay. It says pending in there, though. Yeah. So, so hopefully it goes all the way through. And if not, I don't know why it says pending. Ah, it should be fine. Yeah, you can just go ahead and take it, and then I'm yeah, sure. just contact me if it doesn't, yeah. and I'll bring you cash back. Okay? Yeah, for sure. Sounds good. Thank you, Kimberly. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. Oh, do you refurbish? Yeah. Oh, cute. So did you refurbish these two? No, no, I didn't refurbish Oh, those. okay. Oh, they're in pretty good condition, huh? Yeah. I'm going to put them in my lash room at my house because I have everything oh, like... Uh-huh. I do everything. I have everything black and gold with okay. like pink accents. Nice. It's super cute. This just... My camera died in the middle of making that sale in the black chair, but she went ahead and zelled me when we took it out to her car. She zelled me $60. We originally bought it for $35. I know. Tell me about it. I'm disappointed in that sale too. Originally, you guys seen that I wanted to make $100 off that flip, but it was just no one was buying it. And um, it was sitting for a while. So I told her if she just please come and pick it up, I'd give it to her for 60 Some flips are not as great as others, like uh, making $400 on a dresser. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And I'll see you guys next time where we can make some more sales. Hopefully we can sell more of that mid-century furniture. I know you guys are waiting to see what happens with that. I am too. Um, to be honest, a lot of people have been lowballing me for all of that furniture. So I'm just being patient and waiting for my right buyers because they will come eventually. So anyways, hope you guys uh, like that video and stay flippy.